so hi everyone today we will try to understand what is a uh, smoothing in time series and what is a single exponential smoothing model uh, in time series forecasting so first of all let us understand what is smoothing what is the concept of smoothing in time series so it refers to uh, removing the finely grained uh, variations that are present in a time series so if we are having very regular uh, variations coming in a time series it helps us to smooth that curve so eventually you can see some patterns and we can remove some sort of a uh, uh, noise that is present in the data now let's understand what is uh, how this uh, exponential smoothing can be performed so uh, for uh, sing uh, calculating single exponential smoothing we would be calculating some a uh, series of s terms so as, assume that we have a time series which are with having the terms x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 our smoothing terms would be called as s1 s2 s3 s4 for the corresponding time series term so it's more of a new time series that you are creating from the old time series that is now smooth in nature so how to calculate that so we have a formula for that that is s of x equals to alpha into x uh, x minus 1 plus 1 minus alpha into uh, s x minus 1 now let's understand what does this mean so assume that we are trying to calculate the fifth smoothing term so in that case uh, we are assuming alpha to be some uh, constant alpha into the previous time series term that is x4 coming from the original time series plus 1 minus alpha into s4 that is the previous smoothed term that we have ca calculated so eventually the new term that is getting calculated comprise of two things one is the original time series term corresponding time series term uh, the pre the previous one and eventually uh, the previous smoothed time series term as well now there should be a question ki how should we calculating s1 because as you see, saw that uh, the the time stamp that is considered is t minus 1 when we are calculating for t so for s1 we won't have any s0 term so how to calculate that so in that case uh, we would be we will be considering s2 equals to x1 now eventually for s3 uh, the equation becomes easier for us because for s3 it becomes s3 equals to alpha into uh, x2 plus 1 minus alpha into s2 now s2 equals to x1 only and this is how different terms of the the smoother time series can be calculated uh, here you can see for s6 s7 s8 now uh, as you can see in the example that if our time series ends at uh, x5 only but we wish to calculate some more future smoother terms that is what we were call, ca calling out the forecasting so in that case the x term remains the same the last term that is available but the s terms keeps on increasing because we are able to calculate uh, s6 s7 s8 but we can't we don't have s uh, x6 s7 x7 x8 so in that case the last available term from the x series would be considered with alpha but for 1 minus alpha we would be cal we will be using the previous smoother term only that is s6 s7 and s because they are available right 